Welcome to Inside the Huddle. I'm Mike Joseph for the Lafayette Sports Network and GoLeopards.com. Leopards had a tough one up in the Bronx this past weekend, but it's just one game and there's plenty of Patriot League games left on the schedule. Today I want to take you off the track a little bit. I want to talk about overtime. Lafayette has played nine overtime games uh, as a football team, a couple of those games being home, a couple of those games being away. And right now we're going to talk basically about how overtime works. When a team is tied at the end of regulation, what it does is you flip a coin again. The visiting team gets to call it. And usually the team that wins the toss, they want to be on defense first and on offense second. And I'll explain that to you in a little bit. But the first team gets the ball right around the 25. And you can see that they can pick up a first down at the 15-yard line. The ultimate would be to pick up a ball, pick up a first down right around the 11, which means you can pick up two first downs, the second one being at the one-yard line. But once that team has exhausted the three plays and has a choice, they can either kick the field goal and come up with three points, or they can end up putting up a touchdown and coming up with six with a possible one to make seven. Now after the third overtime, if both teams are tied, those teams now have to go for two just again to try to break the regulation. Well people say, well this is going to take forever. So my first point is time. Well if you look at the statistics, 71 percent of the overtime games in all of college football uh, end up over in the first overtime. Into the second overtime, another 18% are completed. So if you look at that right there, that's close to 90% of the games are over after the second overtime. Now we talked earlier about Lafayette winning three out of the six, or excuse me, the nine games. Well, these three games were all played at home at Fisher Stadium. These six games were all played away. So you can see right there, about 56% of the games that you play at home in overtime are won by the home team. Obviously the away team has a little bit of a, uh, as a disadvantage. Now we talk about going last. Why do you want to go last? Well if that team puts up a field goal and say the game was 17-17, well now it's 20-17. to The team that takes the offense second knows that they need at least a field goal so they can play to those strengths. They could throw some quick game. They can maybe run the football a few extra times knowing that their field goal kicker should already be in field goal range to tie the game and maybe get a chance to tie that game 20 to 20. If they score a touchdown, they win the game. The problem is if you turn the ball over and you are the first team to handle the ball, all the other team has to do is kick the field goal and win the game. There are no safeties and the defense cannot return anything for a touchdown. So overtime is something we haven't seen. I kind of smell it coming over in the next couple games. Lafayette's going to have to have their prime A game this weekend against the Georgetown Hoyas here at 330.